Scotland used to be known as the land of the book. But today its once rich Christian heritage is in steep decline. Back in 1965, almost 1.3 million people belonged to the National Church. But by 2017, nearly a million of them had gone. Today, less than 7% of the population attend any kind of church at all. And recently, the Joshua Project classified Scotland as an unevangelized mission field. So what happened? Well, there are many reasons, but sadly, the church bears substantial responsibility. Paul warns about those who wander from the truth, who abandon the gospel. And of course, when we walk away from the word of God, people aren't going to come to listen because there's nothing worth hearing. Today the situation is desperate, but not hopeless. It's up to us. We have to recover and proclaim boldly and accurately the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's where the power to change lives is located. Cornhill Scotland was established in 2006 to train people for this central task, for preaching and teaching the Bible, not just academic discussion about it. We realised that to reach our nation for Christ, a new model for training was needed, one that was accessible, affordable, and above all, more effective than the traditional college or seminary. God works in his world through his word, and so our aim is to shape clear and competent messengers of the truth. And we firmly believe that this real gospel training must take place within real gospel churches. So Cornhill aims to train gospel workers in the closest partnership with local churches all over Scotland. The Cornhill training course gives us all core ministry training. We are being taught the Bible not just for ourselves, but so that we can teach it to others and pass it on. And that's what's really unique about Cornhill. And then we're giving lots of opportunities to try this out ourselves, to handle the Bible for ourselves. We get to write lots of talks and deliver them and then we get constructive feedback on them which is really helpful. And then we get to put it into practice in our own context as well, in our ministry apprenticeships. In my case that means predominantly teaching other women. And Cornhill is also helping to prepare me for the work I'm going on to do with UCF with students. We need to prepare many men for long-term pastoral ministry. That's a calling that cannot be undertaken lightly. Demands on church leaders today are increasingly diverse and real gospel ministry is tough. If they're to stay the course and become leaders of the church, our ministers in training need to develop the highest level of both ministry skills and life skills. These things are not acquired in the halls of a typical theological college. Rather, they're best acquired in a supportive local church where leaders can continue to be formed alongside uh, experienced church leaders. So our trainees are typically employed in a minister in training role in a supportive local church. That's crucial. They don't go away and leave regular church ministry behind in order to train for it. The Pastors Training Course is a three-year program that delivers further theological training through a mix of classroom teaching, home study, online learning and residential weeks. Our students work their way through a carefully constructed curriculum. It's theologically rich, but always with a focus on the personal and ministry significance of what's been studied. It's a tried and tested model of learning now, and it's proved very effective in enabling our students properly to explore the real-life implications of theological truth. Well, the great thing about the pastor's training course is its flexibility. After doing the Cornhill training course and as an apprentice here in Scotland, I went to work in a church near London, 
but I was able to train on PTC alongside guys from all over because the model of learning made it easy. I worked and studied down south and just travelled up to join the others for the fortnightly seminars and for the residential weeks together, which were brilliant. I found the pastor's training course really searching and extremely stretching, both theologically and in my personal spiritual life. And that was what I really needed. It helped someone like me, uh, with a family to support and a little bit older, uh, to be able to transition out of uh, working life as a lawyer and to be able to get the training and support that I needed to move into a full-time ministry position. The pastor's training course is built around an ABC format. Uh, with the academy to equip, uh, the brothers to engage with, and of course the church for experience and growth. Uh, and for me, the, the teaching model of the pastor's training course is absolutely unique uh, and totally unbeatable. Real training needs to be hands-on and skill-based. It's not just about the transmission of knowledge, it has to work on my soul as a preacher, not just on my mind. And it must all really lead to the building of the church for God's glory. Uh, Cornhill has instilled in me really this whole culture of training. Uh, and it's exciting now for me as senior pastor to see our church beginning to catch the vision, grasp the vision of multiplying gospel ministry. And for us now to be training others in our small church. I'm constantly amazed that someone like me could ever train for ministry and ever be in ministry, but I was, thanks to Cornhill and the pastor's training course who were willing to invest in someone with my background and with no academic qualifications, although I did study higher Greek in prison. Yes, thanks to Cornhill, guys like Gary and me sat around the table with some of the great Christian leaders from all around the world. And the main Cornhill teachers here gave us so much real ministry experience, quite simply because they're still doing real ministry themselves. And I've had great support and backing from them ever since to help me to keep going in ministry, and that is priceless to me. Cornhill's not just another theology course. We have a very clear and practical focus. Uh, we want to train and produce people who will make an equally clear and practical difference in Scotland and beyond. At Cornhill, we aim to produce a people who have a burning desire to reach the lost, who are ready to risk and to innovate, who break the mould and who won't hesitate to break the mould themselves, who reach people for Christ wherever they are and wherever they come from. Since 2006, we've trained over 200 students through Cornhill, a third of whom are now in full-time ministry as pastors. Another quarter are presently in other ministries, such as in organisations like UCCF or in overseas mission. But Scotland alone needs many, many more trained gospel workers to reach our own people and those from all over the world who now inhabit our cities. Here at Cornhill, we need your help in two ways. Number one, Cornhill can only be a benefit if there are people ready to take the course. Why not partner with us by sending the people that you've identified in your local church with leadership potential to come and train at Cornhill? The Lord Jesus says that the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. You can play your part in encouraging, sending, and supporting your aspiring leaders as they come forward for training. Secondly, there are extensive costs inevitably involved in running Cornhill, and the course fees are already subsidised. We would be enormously grateful if you would consider supporting us financially in this strategic work. Few churches can afford to fund apprentices, and fewer still can fund pastors and training through the full Cornhill course, but it's essential that this happens. We need to find substantial bursaries if we're to help establish this vision for training leaders for the 21st century church. You could partner with us 
by making a regular or one-off donation to the work of Cornhill Scotland, by becoming a gospel patron and supporting an individual student through their training, or perhaps by leaving a legacy to Cornhill. There's loads more information at our website, cornhillscotland.org.uk. Now we're so grateful to you for your partnership in the gospel and for your prayers as we continue to train workers for the harvest to come.